Setting up groupings in your course is a great way to make special resources, assignments, or quizzes available for students with special accommodations. To get started, go ahead and click on the Administration tab and click on Users. Then you're going to move down and click on Groups. And I don't have any groups set up, but it's likely that you have groups for each of your class period. Um, to get started, prior to creating the grouping, we need to create a special group for that student population. So I'm going to create group, and I'm going to name my group Oral Admin. For my enrollment key, I am going to just type something cryptic because I'm going to always manually enroll these students. They'll never enroll themselves. And then save changes. The, my next step would be adding the specific students to that oral admin group who received that accommodation. Since I'm the only one in my course right now, I'm going to go ahead and add. And again, you would select the specific students who received oral administration. And then I'm going to return back to groups. And you'll note now that there's one student in that oral admin group. It is okay that students are in an oral admin group and a class period group. Students can be in multiple groups, so it won't affect their status in your, for example, first period group. Once I've set up my group for oral admin, I'm going to click on the groupings tab, and I'm going to create a grouping. And again, I'm going to call it oral admin so it matches, and I'm going to select save changes. Now that I've created my grouping, I'm going to click on the little icon that looks like the silhouette, and I'm going to add the oral admin group to my grouping. So now any students that I placed in that oral admin group will now be included in my oral admin grouping. And right now I can see that there are zero activities designated specifically for this oral admin group. So we'll go ahead and create an activity so you can see what that will look like. So I'm going to go back to my, pay, my course and I'm going to turn editing on. And I'm going to add an activity, but this time I'm going to select that this activity and we'll just upload a file. So I am just going to select something to put it in here. And now my next step would be going down to Common Module Settings, and you're want, going to want to check Available for Group Members Only, and then you're going to choose that specific group. So if this is a test that's only for those Oral Admin students, I'm going to select Oral Admin, and then I'm going to Save and Return to Course. Now as the teacher, I can see that the sample file is designated only for oral admin students, which means your general population will not see it. Only those students that we placed in that oral admin grouping. They, however, don't see this, so they don't know that they're in a special grouping. You'll just have to let them know where those files are located. Um, as a note, you can have multiple groupings, multiple, or students can be repeated in those groupings as well.